my name is Maddie. I'm heartant and I make hats, headgear, other appendages. I'm based in London and I'm doing a show at SVA in Stroud. Um, the hats I've made are all felted. It's a new process, obviously everyone's been trapped indoors a lot, so like learning new skills. So I went full on with felting, which I think is a appropriate skill for a learner to have. So I went, I'm going backwards with my skill sets and now I'm doing felting. I wanted to show it off. They've been so inside. I've been, you know, like, very, I'm a very private person anyway. So I spend all my time alone in my studio. So like to have everything or this like skill that I've learned and like to have other people coming and seeing them is very, mm. <laughs> this is weird, but good. It's like obviously important to get outside not be alone. <laughs> I've been making hats for like three or four years, but always two different processes. So then I got felt, you know, I've been researching it and my uncle's actually a shepherd. So he has like his own sheep. And I just like, was like this dream come true. I have so much access to all this sheep's wool. You know, I call him up and he's like grateful for it because all they do is burn sheep's wool because nobody wants it. It's like a waste product. So like he's got bags and bags of it and then I get to like take as much as I want. I go and make these things and then I show them to him and it's like cool because he's like gets, you know, it's like the way it moves through the, through the country as well. It's like gone from Suffolk to London to here now. And I'm like, it's kind of fun. It's like very exciting for him as well to like see something like you know, he's produced in a way. I usually always have my friend, she's a jeweler. I always have like a piece of hers on. It makes me always feel like excited. Or like I think about the way she does things and I really love her mannerisms and the things she creates and it's such a different way of making things to me that like always like turns me into a different headspace. So whenever I have her things, it's always like sparkly and like hard. It's just, like different to my things, it's always quite soft. So I just like, gives a little push in a different direction. My work is always like, all the hats are, are supposed to be like mood changes, or like I call them mental tuning devices, because I want them to be like, you put them on, you feel like a character, or like, or it calms you down, or it makes you more like, a bit bold, or like there's different, they feel like different things. So when people come in and they're like, gravitating towards certain ones, and you can tell that some people are like, different kinds of people, or like the reactions of people like, obviously at connecting to certain ones, or going like, that's what I'm gonna need, or like, it's, yeah, an energy that you get for it. I think it's nice to be dirty, and like to clean the walls so stinky, like I love outdoor stuff, being in London, but different kind of stinky. So I just like the smell of like the sheep's wool. And you just have to like spend a long time like separating all the strands, making it in this whole, just like, it's like washing someone else's hair for like an entire day and they're like so dirty and then layer them up and the felling process is like, it's basically just matting all the strands together, making a whole of fabric out of like literally just strands of hair. You just very manually mash it with like warm water. It's very sloppy again. Um, yeah, and then it starts forming its own like textile. And then you just shape it, well it's still hot, shaping it out. Like use my hands or I use a form to like place it over. Well it's still wet and it'll dry and stay in that shape. 